brilliant move there. Amazing action here. Now Hamilton is right up behind Raikkonen and he goes for it. Down the outside of the bus stop. Raikkonen's not giving anything away. They almost touch, they do touch. Hamilton will have to give the corner back. They're side by side. He'll have to have a go at him at La Source. Okay, now Raikkonen's back in front and Hamilton's going to attack him. He goes on the inside. Raikkonen tried to play it cool, but he went wrong for him. Hamilton's oh, through. They touch again. Amazing action here at Spa-Francorchamps. But Lewis Hamilton is back in the lead with two laps to go. It looks like Raikkonen's run wide there. Hamilton's having problems as well, though. Raikkonen's got a lot of momentum there. Meanwhile, Massa has lost ground in oh. these conditions. Whoa! Hamilton's off. Raikkonen gets back past him again. There's a Williams in the mix, too. Hamilton's on the grass. So Raikkonen back and in. Hamilton Raikkonen, spin. Raikkonen, Raikkonen spins. spins. They'll have to stop for intermediates. It's the only thing they can do now. Well, in these conditions, anything could happen as Hamilton again struggles to keep it on the road. Pits. Terrible decision to make. Oh, Ryan 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 is going to hit the there. wall. He's going to hit the wall. He has hit the wall. That's Raikkonen. And he's in the wall and out of this Grand Prix, having led it for most of the race. Now it's here that Mika Hakkinen can close up. I don't think he's close, close yes, enough to stop. He is close enough, Murray. He has got the slipstream. We know he's got 10 miles, uh, 10 kilometers an hour extra. But Michael Schumacher very firmly closing the door, leaving Hakkinen nowhere to go at all. Hakkinen had the speed. He didn't have anywhere to use it. Once again, look, Michael's having to defend, and Mika, and there's a, but the back marker's in the way. But can he do it? Yes, he's done it. A brilliant move there, either side of Zonta, and Hakkinen brilliantly takes the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix. Michael defending the track, making his Ferrari as wide as he can. He then went round the outside of Zonta, and Hakkinen said, thank you very much. I'll have a piece of that side of the racetrack then this time around. Well, it was incredible. <laughs> It, it was uh, it, it was a uh, incredible. <laughs> Gerhard Berger thought he would follow Prost's example and for a few seconds it looked as though he'd got away with it. But the young Italian belied the baldness of his tyres to reclaim third position almost before he'd lost it. The pair provided the best entertainment of the race from then on in as Nanini fought to maintain his advantage on old rubber. On lap 41 he almost lost the Benetton completely at Eau Rouge and the loss of momentum handed Berger third place. <laughs> 